this not a totally different look for me? <laughs> Let me turn around and show you what this looks like in the back. I love the back. I mean, oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that wild? And I absolutely love how these curls frame my face. I think my hairdresser did an amazing job this time. I mean, the cut is beautiful. The curls are beautiful. She gave me amazing volume. <laughs> I love this look. So most of you know, at least I think most of you know, well, maybe not most of you, but recently I had an opportunity to be a guest reviewer for Wig Studio One. And this is the second piece they have sent me. Now, some of you don't like the wig talk. Some of you love the wig talk. But you know what? I look at it this way. Hair enhancement, just like skin enhancement, just like makeup, just like eyeshadow. You know, doing things for your hair. If you don't have a ton of volume, if you have a sort of thinning hair, or if you have medical issues in your hair, you don't have any. Depending on what's going on in your life, I mean, I think that wigs, alternative hair, hair that you can wear, I just think they add so much to how people feel about themselves, you know? And yes, I know we shouldn't be defined by how we look, but you know what? We define ourselves that way. So alternative hair is just really, really, really awesome. My own natural hair could never do this look, ever. And maybe some of you will say, well, you know, Monica, it almost, well, depending on when you see this, I might already be 66. I don't know. I hate thinking about it. But, you know, some of you might say, well, at your age, you shouldn't be wearing your hair like this. But you know what? Age is a number. And I really think that age is your attitude. How old you are is definitely reflected on how you feel. And it's easy to say when you're healthy, you feel better. You know, when you're physically fit, you feel better. And that reminds me, I need to get on the elliptical. I need to get motivated on physical fitness. But anyways, I digress. So to me, age is just an attitude. Yeah, it's a number. It's attached to everything. But more importantly, it's my attitude. I talk to people that are younger than me. And they look older than me. And they act older than me. And that's, you know, that's just the way it is. So when I look at something like this, I, I'm all over this. I'm digging this look. So anyways, this is the second piece that was sent to me by Wig Studio One, which is an amazing opportunity that I have to be a guest reviewer. And those of you know my my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friend Marlene Fabin Glam is also a guest reviewer. So she's been showing, showcasing some of the wigs that she's gotten. And she's really getting into alternative hair. She she's I mean she looks beautiful in every piece she has. So for me, this is definitely out of the box. Um, it is actually out of the box. This is a shake and go look. I've done nothing to this. I've just kind of like stuck my fingers in here. This this wig has a whole lot of permities. It's really full up top. The dark roots are extremely dramatic, you know, and the cut is really, I mean, take a look at this cut. I think the cut's super sassy. So some of you have already seen me in this because I wore this to the Roaring Twenties event, and and I think I've already said that at the Roaring Twenties event, nobody ever guessed. They, they all thought, well, what did you do to your hair? Wow, you've been at the hairdressers all afternoon to get that. None of them knew it was a wig, you know. But anyways, I love this piece. So for sassiness, for spunk, yes. So this is Renee of Paris Sonoma Wig in Creamy Toffee LR. And LR stands for Long Rooted, for those of you that don't know. And those of you that are into wigs, you know exactly what it is. Now, for me, I would, in a heartbeat, wear this a lot if this was lighter. I'm going to see about lightening this up somehow. I don't know if I can do it and, you know, and, and like how the look will be, but I'm going to get some root spray or some dry shampoo that has some blonde in it just to see if I can lighten it up a little bit because it is very, the contrast is very stark. And I've seen other people review this wig but in different colors. Nisha 
number one has reviewed it nisha uh, sugar puff and fluff it has this wig closet there's been a number of other people that have reviewed this wig in a different color and the colors that this wig comes in are beautiful so now, this is creamy toffee lr sonoma and this is an extremely affordable piece. I'll link the information if anyone has any desire to, to think about alternative hair like this. But how funky, how, how much fun this is to be able to wear something like this and look, look and feel good in it. And I look and I feel I look and feel good in the Jake. Every time I put this on, he has a smile on his face. Probably because it's such a different look. He just, he just totally smiles. And I love the back. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you because I'm super excited for the opportunity. Depending on when this gets published and my official review gets published, I will come back and link it get for you so you can go over and check that out. Some of you have asked me to do some comparison on some of my wigs, and I'll do that if I think that a lot of you will, will like it, like the different colors. Like I have a couple of, of the same name brand. I have two Raquel Welches that are in different shades. And I have um, Henry Magu that are in different shades. So I've got a couple of different wigs that I have that are in different shades that I could do a color comparison if anyone is, has any interest in it. But I just love this. I love being able to switch my look around. So tell me, what do you think? You guys like this? <laughs> Isn't it cute? I'm going to list all the specs for this wig. And also down below in my description box are my specs because I think it's important that you know the dimensions of a wig so you can tell how long it'll be. I believe the longest part of this wig is 11 inches. I have a pretty long face. I have a really high forehead and my circumference is 22 inches. So I'm pretty well an average as far as my head size, but yeah, I think knowing the dimensions is really important. Let me also tell you before I close out, some wigs are not comfortable. I've had a few that have struggled with for comfort and they've not been my favorites. You don't see them in my videos. Obviously the wigs that I wear a lot in my videos, you can tell those are comfortable. I wear them out. I just enjoy them. So this wig is extremely comfortable on. It fits me really well. And I think with this sassy cut, I'm going to keep my eye on maybe getting this in a different shade. Wig Studio One typically has a 30% off sale on not all of their styles because there are some that don't but on a lot of their styles so i'm going to link this obviously you can go check it out if you are into a really sassy fun look check it out use the 30 percent off i think it'll apply to this this makes this an extremely extremely affordable wig and if you have not already hop on over to wig studio one's facebook page they have a private facebook page that is just an amazing support system for women who really need that support because buying your first wig or even trying to just match the colors online is like so hard. And you can look at a model on a website and the wig will look beautiful and when you first take it and you put it on your head, you, you go like, oh my gosh, it's like overwhelming. And a lot of people get so frustrated and they get so nervous they don't even put the wig back on or they return it. But support group, go to the Facebook page. You'll find so much support there. And you will realize that the first time you put a wig on, you might feel like Bozo the Clown because all of a sudden you have all this hair that you've not had in a long time. But in reality, once you adjust to it, once you play with it, once you manipulate it, and there's so many different things you could do. And that's what these support groups do. They share those tips. This has a lot of permatease. How do you deal with permatease? You know, can you flatten it out? Well, yeah, you can. There's a certain amount of manipulation that you can do. Not a whole lot. You know, how do they look with glasses? Of course, you can see the ring light, but I can wear my glasses with this wig. Actually, I can wear my glasses with all my wigs and stays put. Now, the only thing I don't usually do is a lot of headbands. I could show you with some of the headbands how cute this will look, 
but I'm going to enclose the picture here that I took that of myself wearing this wig in the Roaring Twenties outfit. So anyways, be sure to check out their Facebook page and go ahead, check out Wig Studio One's website where you can find some really nice, nice, sassy wigs or a little bit more low-key wigs if you want or a little bit more flamboyant. I'm going to be sure to link their website. I'm also going to link Marlene Fab and Glam. She's doing a Wednesday wig chat, which I think is fantastic. I'm going to link that. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And please be sure to thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this look. Just let me know what you think in general. I'd love to hear from you. Bye, guys. And for those of you that like to see an inside look at the cap, I'm going to show it to you. As you can see, the roots and the beautiful color. This is the Sonoma wig by Renea Paris, and it is defined as a bold A-line cut with sexy loose curls that frame the face. It's a wavy bob, it's chin length, it's part of their high fashion collection, and this is Creamy Toffee LR. This is synthetic, and the wig is extremely comfortable. It has some stretch, open wefted, and just really pretty on. Love it.